Hi guys, it's Geshbina. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about a little bit um, about myself. Today we're going to be talking about myself. Just so you guys can get to know me. Um, just so you guys get to know me a little bit. So the first question is, who am I and where am I from? So I am a person, obviously. I hope um, and I'm from the Czech Republic Prague um, it's in the middle of the Europe if someone didn't know where Prague is that's why I have a slight accent so I am not Russian I am Czech okay who why did I move to the USA and how long have I been here for so I've been here for about it's gonna be like seven to eight years now but I've been on and off for the first three years because I really didn't like America at first it was a culture shock for me like everyone looking the same there's no fashion really you know um, that's also because I live in Boston Massachusetts so there's not much going on up here so um, yeah uh, so at first how I said I, I did not like it here I wanted to be free in Prague and you know Prague is way more um, cooler I would say when you're growing up it's there's more things to do they don't ID you it's just fun and I had all of my friends there but now already I consider America my home and I'm not going back to Prague so I'm staying here for those who care so the pros and cons versus America and the Czech Republic so at first I was like an American hater, you know, when I first moved here I was like, ah, the Czechs are sh the shit, like, blah, 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 blah. But the longer I've been here, I kind of um, realized that Czechs in general are pretty lame. I don't want to diss everybody, I'm just saying the smaller population of the bad people there, um, they're just not cool. It's just... A country where people don't they don't want other people to succeed once you succeed in, you know they're hating on you um, I would never be able to even start a fucking YouTube channel if I was in Prague without people hating on me like extremely for no reason you know for doing something or they would be like oh you can't do this you know that's where I never painted in Prague because everyone was just like you Gabriella can paint Oh really? No she can't. You know, just making me feel like shit so I really never even tried to do anything like that there. So definitely the people are different you know, here. People are more supportive uh, when it comes to what I make, what I do. They are way more supportive than Czechs and way more nicer about it. And there's more people here in America who are willing to help you than in the Czech Republic. So, you know, people are just nicer here compared to the Czech Republic because Czechs are just like arrogant they're kind of just like fuck off like fuck you you know that's why we have this little attitude us Czechs in our in ourselves and you know we're pretty much honest and we say what we think so that's a good quality I guess depends on you know how you say it of course <laughs> you don't want to be like fuck you bitch okay um, yeah, I already said that Czechs are pretty arrogant, uh, they want you to fail. In the USA, there are people who are fake nice, and I am seeing on myself that I'm doing it too. So people are like, hello, how are you? And it's just like, like, chill the fuck out. You don't have to be like all like hi how are you like if you go to stop and shop or star market or whole foods like can i help you with something today like chill the fuck out like it's so like be nice but you don't have to overdo it so i kind of learned to be nice here um and i have a lot of good feedback from my regular job when i work i work with animals with little puppies and kittens um in a pet hospital so it's really cute. I love it. Um, anyways, yeah, people are just, you know, 
especially when you go to a store, they're either bitches or they're like overly nice for no reason, and you're just like, whoa, like chill. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, better than to be a bitch, you know, but still. Um, what else can I tell you about myself? You want to probably know my age. I'm 28 now. I hope I look younger. I probably don't, but whatever. My favorite coffee is Dunkin' Donuts. I don't care what y'all think. Dunkin' Donuts is the shit. I love Dunkin' Donuts. So, I got myself a little Dunkin' Donuts. Like, mug thingy. And I have a second one, so I have two now. And, um, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is the shit. So what else could I tell you about myself? I... When I was growing up in Prague, I never really liked school and shit, so I would skip school and go and skateboard. I skateboarded for about three years, since I was 13 to about 16 or so. I was fucking killing it. I remember when I landed my first heel flip, and, um, it was on this stop called Hračanska. And it's on it's in Prague 7 that's where the Stalin spot is so we would always hang out there so yeah I was skating for three years so I was a little tomboy always wearing like a hat like wearing like a Volcom t-shirt I mean Volcom I don't know why I was obsessed with Volcom but I was um, I would wear a Volcom green hoodie which I was so pissed when I lost it at some fucking party or some shit like that and just pants and one of those belts uh, that came like d those duff belts with the kind of look like a rope and then you have that metal thing that like clips into it so that was my swag I looked like shit but I enjoyed that time that was the best fucking time and then when I was skateboarding there was one of my friends um, his name is Tibor and he was like hey you're a pretty girl, you should start dressing up like a girl. And I'm like, really? Like, should I? Will the other skaters be like, oh, this is a, you know, this is some fucking, like, bratty girl or whatever. So I decided to dress like a girl. I remember when we first went to get my black tight pants. So I got myself some... Um, jeans that were what do you call them slim fit jeans jeans so I got some of those and I got a girly girly shoes they were sparkling and they were golden and I went out then looking like a girl and everyone was like whoa this is Gabriella so then I just like liked the attention of the guys and shit so um, I started dressing like a girl and I slowly stopped skateboarding but I, I've been skateboarding with Alex now when it's nice out we go skateboarding so that's nice I'm not as good as I was because I'm older and I feel like I'm stiff as fuck all the time so I can't really skate well but I can still I can still land a pop shove it right pop shove it yeah pop shove it ollie back Backside, front side, maybe. What else? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We haven't been able to go outside. Yeah. Much, so. And our boards always get stolen here. So. So that's a little bit about me. So if you have any questions, I will make another video. Just write them in the comments or go to my social media at Geshbina1. It's G A. What the fuck? It's G E J B I N A one. The let the number one. G E J B I N A on Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans, and here. Peace out, Girl Scout.